In this example, we will explain why it's important to think about the smaller subsystem level models as well as the upstream larger models while you're creating and building out your system. So for this example, the toaster is our system of interest. And what we would do in our toaster model is we would break it down into subsystems, as you're seeing here. And if the toaster was much more complex than a toaster is, then each of these subsystems, such as power supply, would have their own model. So power supply would have a, its own model with its own modeling team to build out that. And then that modeling team would integrate in with the, our toaster model. But since it's simple, there's nothing downstream we would really need to integrate with. So we pull in uh, our IBD, our internal block diagram, and to figure out the flows between subsystems. These are black box views of the world. So these part properties, power supply, toasting lever, and heating element, those would be the internal white box uh, components and, and flows and properties would be created by that lower level team and then flowed up to you. And then once you, once you as the toaster team have created your breakdown, you would then think a little bit bigger and think about the context of the toaster. So you got the toaster and then it's acting upon the bread. So then I would create an internal block diagram for that. Now this is the black box view of the toaster and you can see it's, it's pulling power from external and then it is pushing heat to the slice of bread and you can see a black box sort of ICD for that. So then I would integrate the toaster into its higher level, which would be the kitchen in this case. The kitchen would be a model which would be developed by another team. So the kitchen would look like this. So it has the toaster with the toaster model and then the coffee maker and then the coffee maker would have its own model and then the blender and the blender would have its own model. And then you can see a view of the kitchen where you have the power outlets providing power to the different appliances. And, and the white, uh, black box ports that you're seeing here, is these ports and the specifications that go along with this, the interface blocks and the flow properties and the signals are going to be flowed down to the toaster team and to the coffee maker team. And then we can look at the white box view of that. So then the kitchen team would then integrate into a larger system of systems, which would be the house team and the house, they would do their decomposition. And I think you guys can see at this point, the recursion that is occurring. And uh, you can see that there's always a bigger doll and you, your house could go to a neighborhood, which could eventually go to a power grid. And then you could try to do some calculations to understand energy consumption for the entire power grid, for example. So I hope that this example um, helps you understand how different levels or tiers of models will interact with each other and how it's important that each tier understand the scope of their tier and when, where one tier becomes another tier, um, as well as the interfaces and the flows over those interfaces between tiers. Thank you. Another thing to mention is exactly how to convert your packages into models and then the exact structure that it would look like in the end. So what I've done here is I've converted all the packages into models by just right clicking and going to refactor and then you can get, you can convert it to um, a, a model or a package. So I just converted it back to a package and now I'll convert it to a model. So. I've got my highest level tier zero house with all of the tier one projects or models within them. And then I've got my house block here and you can see all the part properties, which in this case would be associated with all these projects. So I've got my bathroom and this would be built, built out, uh, the bedroom. And this is kind of, uh, abstract right now. And in reality, you would have an, another model for each bathroom, a model for each bedroom, and etc. So here's the model for the kitchen. And you've got your kitchen right here. Uh, and then tier one would have tier two underneath it, the, the blender, the coffee maker, and the toaster. And you would likely add other things that would be pulling electricity as well, the, the lights, the dishwasher, etc. Um, but we're just keeping it simple right now with 
with the, the coffee maker or the toaster. So we would jump into toaster and we would see the things that have to do with the toaster are the toaster and the bread. And we have all of our details about our toaster. So this is how it would look before you would break it out into actual different projects within Cameo. You can like export these as um, their own project by export packages to new project. So that's kind of the breakdown of the package structure and how to, how to build it out from a Cameo modeling perspective.